In today's live lesson, we're going to show you two things that completely got rid of Lee's slice and added yards onto his driver. And we're going to bust one myth that is probably holding you back in your game. Welcome to me and my golf. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to improve your game, you need to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Yes, and to improve every single part of your game, check out our free video series, Five Shots Lower, in the description. It is definitely going to help you out. Good. Well, we're doing driving today. Yep. What is the most important thing that you want to improve on the back of today's session? Uh, I just want to some clarity and, and move away from a lot of swing thoughts that I think have been uh, um, affecting my uh, drive. I've been slicing quite a lot of the ball. Um, and I think I'm overthinking the drive quite a lot. So. Okay. And the bad shot for you, you mentioned, is, is right. It, is, yeah, missing right. You want, to get, you want to take that out of the game. Yeah, yeah just, okay. just to get them straighter. 28 handicap. Yeah, that's 28 right. 28 handicap. You'll see when, when you hit some shots, it's a very good golf swing. But obviously, there's some things letting you down, which we're going to change today. I'm excited about this one. I didn't know it was 28 handicap when you were hitting those shots. I thought it was a lot less, so that's a good job. <laughs> so let's fire some away. We're on the 14th at the Asprey. The good thing is today, the Asprey 14th, hardest hole on the golf course. <laughs> oh, you don't want to miss it right. We've got wind oh, off the that. left. This is exactly what we need. But yeah, let's hit a few shots and we'll pick your brain and, uh, and we'll have a, have a look. There it is. Yeah, that is the dreaded slice. Good example. Now we've also got some spray on the face here to have a look at the contacts. We're just going to have a few shots. We'll probably get four or five and then have a look at it. That's similar. Okay, same again. Okay, one more shot for us. Shot. Oh. Okay, right, let's have a little look at the face. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got a mixture of strikes. We've got Couple right at the center. Yeah. We'll actually show the camera here. Couple at the center. We may be zooming on this one. And then we've got, I think, two out the heel there. That last uh, one was definitely out the heel. That last one was definitely out <laughs> the heel. Okay, so I think what I'd like to do, first of all, I want to go through the setup change first, because yeah. there's a, a, something in the setup that I want to improve. All I'm going to do is just show you guys at home. We want to draw a line down the backside, down behind the backside. And we're going to just swing back and then start to swing down and we're just going to see that there's a, quite a bit of a movement or gap daylight comes between you yeah. and that line yeah so there's a bit of forward movement there but it's really a result of posture right so you swing the club really well we're going to change your posture and get you in a more upright ready position with the weight on the middle of the feet what do you think <laughs> of the pink tops by the way let us know in the comments you need to be brave wearing these pierce don't you yeah Okay. We're not hitting any shots in these. Exactly, yeah, sure. exactly. <laughs> so you get your normal posture for us, Lee, yeah. and I'm gonna sort of go through where I'd like to see you. Now, what I'd like to see is if we get you more, more here. Upright. More upright, yeah, good. So now what we've got is, I want you to feel that from the weight perspective, really important for you guys at home, we want the weight through the middle of the feet. So if we were standing on this, we'd have even amount forward, even amount back. We've now got them through the middle of the feet. That feels different, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Good. And we haven't now got the backside as far back, sitting back. So your posture, Lee, here was more like this. Yeah. So backside back, weight on the heels. But the problem is then, as we swing back, we're going to move forward and then we change, change yeah. location. Right. So if we can get you more upright with the hips and everything more forward, weight on the middle of the feet, it enables us to maintain these angles and consistently get back to right. the ball. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Forward, forward, move forward. So interesting this is that when we see these big moves in the golf swings, like an early extension that we think we're trying to fix the early extension by just working at the movement in the swing. Whereas actually something like the setup can be the real reason for that. Make sure you check the setup. It's actually coming up higher. Coming up I've right, been yeah. trying to, trying. To, I think I've been over. Yeah, yeah. So you've been so going away. down there, yeah. backside back, weight on the heels, yeah. but then it's harder to maintain, so we lose those then. Yeah. Whereas if we can get you a little bit more upright, less angles, yeah. it's much easier to maintain those and get the consistency of the strike. So I'm going to get you in position, and then we'll have a little go. Yeah. Check out the European Ryder Cup uh, glove there, by the way. An amazing victory from Europe in the Ryder Cup this year. Lee Westwood holding that winning putt. It starts today at It starts today, but I'm just having a <laughs> premonition, that's all. <laughs> okay. Keep going for us. Yeah. Good. Okay, one more. Good. The next thing, now before we get into it, this is really important because one of the things that you said is I'm moving too much and I'm trying to keep still. And when people say this, as we talked about this sort of before we came on camera, it's sort of the opposite to what we want. And 
you are definitely not moving too much. And when yeah. you focus on keeping still, it actually limits the motion. So I think what we do now is not only going to improve the consistency of your direction, but also give us a bit more, a bit more power. So I want to show you on screen, and if we take a look at this, and you'll see at home here, again, this is your old setup with the swing. And what we're going to notice on the way back is we're going to see that your club tends to move a little up and above the swing plane. Yeah. So the club gets a little in front of the hands on the way back and out. It goes a little up again on the way back. And on the way down now, we'd ideally like to see the club moving along this yellow line, but it comes down a little forward of the line in front of it. Yeah. And we'll see that this, obviously this was the heel strike. Yeah. I'm almost all the way in front of it, up and down. Yeah. Yeah. I need to look, be a little bit more on and, plane. And this is purely because you're trying to keep more still and centered. Yeah. What we really need to work on, and we, we, we talk about this all the time, Pierce, <laughs> everybody does the same thing. We need to work at your pivot motion. Yeah. And you're aware of this. Yes. You're aware that you need to be able to pivot, but we've got thoughts in the head that are trying to keep us still, yeah. which is stopping us from creating the right motion. That's, that's bad. Yeah, that's so, right. Okay, so let's place the club across your shoulders. You, did, you even did this before <laughs> yeah, we started, yeah? Yeah, warm up, and yeah. He, he, did, he did a great job of the through swing, but he didn't do a great job of the back swing. So I'm just going to get this sliding over here. Good. So in your posture. Okay, so the new posture now, lean forward, lean forward, get the weight on the, keep leaning forward a bit more for me. Good. Okay, so eyes down where the ball's going to be. I'm going to do a backswing with you. I want you to tell me how different this feels. Eyes down where the ball will be. What's the difference? Uh, my, uh, my, yeah, my, my body's rotated lots. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> my body's rotated lots. Okay, Didn't know it good. could move that much. So this is, what we, this is where we want you to be. Now, the thing is, when you try, you, when you try and stay so still, yeah. we're sort of going to do about this. Yeah. Now we don't want we don't want you still. We yeah. want you. I actually want you moving more, but I want you moving more in a good way, which really is about rotation. Can you feel how different this is? Yeah, yeah hugely different. So your backswing now, instead of the move away, we're going to work on winding you up to a great, a great backswing. The head doesn't need to stay still. The cap's moved. You can see his peak of his cap has rotated. That's perfectly fine. It's attached to his head, which is sorry, his body, which is good. Look, Lee's a big, strong lad, but I think he's losing power because he's focused on too much control and too still. And I think what I'd love to do today is not only change what it looks like, I want to change the, how it feels for you in terms of, I want to free you up and create yeah. a free flowing swing because maybe you're, you're a little too focused on things moving too much and, yeah, and, and sure. trying to hit it. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So let's get the club across. I want to do a few more of these and then we'll get into... I think, I think the key with this is here, Lee is saying that he's trying to stop movement to try and control something. So he's obviously got this sway that he had before and you know, this movement forward. We're not gonna stop that by stopping this. What we need to do is we need to replace it with another move. So if it's a case of just, as Andy's doing now, just getting him to move more, the, the rotation more, should I say, that extra rotation is going to stop the movement that he doesn't like. So it's very difficult to get rid of a movement you don't like by just keeping still. Replace that movement you don't like with another movement, which is the correct movement. Hope that makes sense. So again, front on guys, you'll see this. This left shoulder goes down and back and actually works over the right knee. This is such a different motion for you, Lee, compared to what yeah. you were doing before, yeah? Pivot and motion is so important, especially on the, again, this is going to free things up. It's going to create more speed. Do me, do me a back and through swing now involving a bit more rotation. Good. It's interesting, Andy, isn't it? I wonder if we've done a live lesson yet where we haven't done something in the setup. Yeah. And how many people are actually checking their setup. It's so important. Different? Yeah. I think we've got to tee the ball. Yeah. Yep. Pierce is ready then. He was thinking the same. We're in tune, aren't we? <laughs> We're in tune. Beautiful. More motion is good motion if it's yeah. the right motion. There we are. Can we put that as a quote somewhere? Say that three times fast. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to tee it up high. It's going to feel higher than you, you than usually have it. There we go. Yeah. Good. Strike was good. Very nice. Little draw. Because we create this turn on the backswing now, we're actually hitting the golf ball a little bit later in the arc, which means that actually we're just taking out that, that side of the course. Isn't it, isn't it interesting though how most people think the key to hitting solid shots is less movement mm. and more stillness and not moving and keeping the head there, whereas actually we want the opposite. We want, we want great freedom, rotation. It's, it's just the, it sort of paralyzes you, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Nice. Certainly got me some distance on that one. Yeah, Do you know what? That's the on biggest that now, difference. Yeah. That's, that's, there's so much the, more there. Okay, that's yeah, gone. Yeah, the coil. I think because I feel like it's just 
I can swing through a lot more freely, yeah, yeah. I think. That's got to be 50 yards further, looking at that. I would love to see Lee absolutely just smack it. <laughs> <laughs> the reason being is because it's going to create more movement, and, and what's almost just killing him is this, is this restrictiveness that you put on yourself. Yeah. Because you're thinking you've got to place it there. So as you get more and more confident with, oh, this is feeling comfortable now, I'd love to see, I think you were at like 60% speed. I'd love to see you at like 85. Yeah. And you'd be in it miles further just because you've changed your intention. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Gareth's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, we talked about that tree earlier. Yeah, yeah? I was nowhere near it. <laughs> oh. It was at the root there. You, you stuck behind it, but never mind. But that was still good. Okay. Let's take a little look at this because I want to just show you how different this is. Okay, so I mean, there's a huge difference now. You'll see on screen here, posture much more upright. You have this little sit back before you hit the shot here. But all I want to show you now is where the club moves you know, around the body now. Look, if we take a look at this, as we swing back, club now, we'll see, it starts to move now pretty much up the plane line, in line yeah. with the hands at that point, much more around the body here, you'll see that. And as a result, your club on the way down now, yeah. Starts to swing much more close to that line. In fact, it swings a little bit underneath the plane, more draw by it. That last shot you hit was a tiny draw. Yeah. That's a big difference. It and felt better coming through the ball, I must admit. Yeah. Fantastic work from Lee there. Now, don't forget, if you want to knock five shots off your score, click the link in the description to the free video series, which covers all aspects of your game. And we'll see you next week.